Every player I draft must have played for more than three teams. Yeah, more, not three inclusive. I'm not sure how strict we're supposed to be with the played thing. You know, we're currently in the off season, so players could be traded and have not actually played for the team yet. But by letter of the law, the comment does say played. So they have to have been in game for that team for it to count. Let's find out who we will be drafting on behalf of. It is the Arizona Coyotes. Alrighty. I am 1000% pulling up hockey DB for this one. No owner mode because I am the owner. Fantasy draft on head coach edit lines. No, absolutely not. I think once again, I'm just going to leave the top two on. None of this. We're fantasy drafting for a reason. Stop trading to win. Well, it is kind of fun to have it on sometimes. So you know what? Never mind. I take that back. I'm still just salty at the inevitable post-trade deadline collapse it seems to be unavoidable we are going to be selecting at 21st overall no we are seven okay well you know what 21 is divisible by seven <laughs> i don't i just try to come up with something i don't know either way i was wrong i'm trying to think is there any top players that have played for more than three teams that's a no from all of these people kachuk has played for two now panarin has played for three you need one more team, Artemi. I keep finding players that have played for three teams, but I cannot find four. The first player I have come across is Ryan O'Reilly at 87 overall. He's got one ability. I don't have hopes with this draft. Why has everybody played for three? Why? I almost feel like I might as well just draft a goalie tandem right now. We could get Leonard and Flower. So that's probably my best bet for the next two picks. Thank you, Matt. Duchesne is our next pick. He has played for four teams and he's got some abilities. Nice. Tyler Toffoli is eligible, a right wing sniper. That works quite well. I mean, we're not going to have the overall for sure, but we do have some decent players. The Conn Smythe winner himself, Jonathan Marcheseau, 86 overall, left wing. Yes. Very soon this will have been true, but not yet. He's only played for three teams. This isn't a good sign for us. It means we're probably going to get the first overall pick. But Taylor Hall is available for our squad. Tyson Berry. I think he got moved at the deadline. It was to Nashville. Either way, he's played for four teams. 85 overall. It's a pretty good first defenseman to get. David will be joining our squad as well. I really need to start getting some defensemen here. This is turning out to be a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. But we found one. Eric Gustafson, 83 overall defenseman. Get on the team before someone else scoops you up. To be honest with you, I'm really happy we got goalies out of the way, so I don't have to worry about it. Kevin Shattenkirk, another offensive defenseman. He's been a little bit of everywhere. Yeah, let's go. With exactly four teams under his belt, we have Brendan Dillon. Defensive defenseman, which we kind of need right now. He's physical. He's a big boy. And he is joining your Arizona Coyotes. Another defender... Joining our team, and that will give us five. So we just need one more. Maybe our team will do all right. I still don't really have a lot of faith, but you never know. Considering our first pick was Ryan O'Reilly. Only time will tell. 80 face-offs. Yeah, it's not bad, I guess. Lars Eller making one milli at 82 overall will be our... What pick is this? Our 14th selection. We do need a right-handed defender, right? Just making sure here. Left, left. Yeah, okay. Perfect. This guy played for Chicago, Columbus, and Colorado. What is he missing? Calgary, Carolina? Is that it? However, he did also play for the St. Louis Blues. So that makes him eligible. Welcome to the team, Mr. Saad. Tamas! Tata! Has played for four teams. Need I say more? No. Arizona Coyotes legend. Right-handed defender, Luke Shen. The Intimidator... It's gotta be done. We have $16 million of cap left, and I'm about to spend a lot of that. Milan Lucic. There it is. Joining our team. We may not win by scoring goals. But we certainly can win by beating up the other team. Ryan Reeves is also joining. This was an absolute Hail Mary. I had no idea he played for the Sabres for a bit of a season, and on top of that... Played for the Coyotes most recently, so he's coming back home. There's our team. Ryan O'Reilly, 7th overall. You better prove it. Prove to me why you deserve to be selected 7th overall. Those first three picks, man. O'Reilly, Leonard, and Flower. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it will. 
It's that time again. Will we have any chemistry? Please give me at least a little bit. Well, that's not good. If I move Taylor Hall up, they both become a zero. Duchesne, that doesn't really do anything. Ooh, okay, Perron, you're going up there then. Because that is a plus two. Don't mind if I do. Shaw, I did not draft you. You gotta go. Oh my word, look at that fourth line. That is terrifying. I'm tempted to leave the dash one. I could do this and give it a zero, but then that separates. But we could diversify our toughness. I don't know. Yeah, you know what, Revo? I'm giving you a chance to play on the third line. I'm just curious to see if any chemistry works. No, it does not. Ta-ta, nope. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Defense, though. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. Okay, you're moving up then, Duchesne, because then we get a plus two and a plus one. Huge. Okay, that's not that bad. If I move Dylan up to play with Shattenkirk, it's a plus two. Or I could get a plus two and a plus one, but then I got to figure something out here. And I think I'd rather have the plus two on the first line. So I think I'm going to go with Dylan Barry as our first pair. Shattenkirk, Letty, Shen, Gustafson, sure. And in net, we have Flower with Leonard. Probably going to split duty. I will say that Taylor Hall gets the most points. And I kind of expect this first line to do all right. So I'm going to say he gets 75. I don't really have faith that our team will make the playoffs. So I'm not going to say that. But I think we got a good 38 wins in us. Maybe. Let's go Yotes. Not a good start. Nice. Big bounce back win. And then we take an L to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Overtime losses all day. You already know. Okay. Three game win streak. Great stuff. Make it four. Five? What are we doing? The boys are buzzing. Maybe I slightly underestimated this group. Doing quite well right now. They are proving me wrong. What is that? A five game win streak? Oh, five losses. Six losses in a row. And we have moved down a lot. Love that bounce back with three straight wins. The streaky simulation engine strikes again. Let's go here, guys. Get me to 30 wins before the deadline. Okay, or not. Or not. You know, I didn't actually want it. I was just kidding. And apparently we are just having a yard sale at the trade deadline. What is going on here? Why is everybody available? 28, 30, and 4. We were doing pretty good at one point, and then we collapsed. Maybe this is the type of team to have a post-trade deadline run? It's a pretty good way to start it, but then the Predators, okay. Well, it was a good thought. My 38 wins prediction, though. Come on. No, so close. Yeah, I'm just going to sim past the playoffs. Again, there's no point going to the stats just to come back and watch the calendar. You know what I'm saying? The Stanley Cup belongs to the Detroit Red Wings. 37, 41, and 4. We were doing so well. What happened? We ended up last in the Central Division. We're definitely not last in the league. Because look at that. Only two points separates us from being sixth in the division. We got a three-way tie for first right here with the Penguins, the Sharks, and the Flyers. But the Pens beat out both of those squads in row. Let's see what you have here. You got James Van Riemsdyk on your first line. And Addison and your first defensive pair playing with Yossi, though. Yeah, he could pretty much carry anybody. Lindholm and Stone. By the way, not saying Addison's bad. I just think his overall is low. Okay? So don't take that the wrong way. I'm sorry. This just absolutely does not look like a President's Trophy winning team. Whatsoever. This seems slightly more interesting. They finish second. They have Blackwood and Askarov in net. Schultz and Taves is their first pair. York. Oh, they do have Luke Hughes. That's cool. Nate Mack, Forsberg, and Tavares as their first line. That's nuts. Rudolph's Bolser is playing with Wenberg and Besser. These teams are so weird. The Broad Street Bullies had Ovi playing with Erickson, Eck, and Sprong. Logan Thompson in net. Greenway with Sorelli, Tippett. I don't... I, I just have no words. Top 16 teams made it into the playoffs. Things you love to see. And where did we finish? We finished second last? Really? The Islanders finished last. They had Claude Giroux playing with Bjorkstrand and Landy. Jonathan Taze with Sharon Govich and Tolvanen. Provorov. Kale McCarr? Jake Ottinger? I never will understand this game. I'm just going to accept that. Halsey didn't really do much for us. He got 54 points. Duchesne got 68. So he was kind of leading the pack there. In fact, definitely leading the pack. Perron, 58. O'Reilly, 51. That's our first pick, baby. Mr. Conn Smythe himself had 50 points. Barry, 48. Let's see how our goalies did. 
Oh my word, Robin. 898. Flower did okay with a 917, but man. That's not good. Why did they not just allow Flower to be the starter? I don't get it. Bobrovsky had the most wins in a nice amount of games played. 43 and a 923 save percentage. Mackenzie Blackwood had a sub 900 save percentage and still got 41 wins. That just goes to show you how apparently crazy San Jose's roster is. Dewey leads defenseman with 74. Huggy had 72. Great number. And then we got a nice amount of points from Hamilton and Darlene. Four words, what do we got going on here? Nate Mack gets the Art Ross with 100 on the nose. He had 48 goals. I see 48 from Ovi as well. I do see 49 from Rantanen. So if he gets the Rocky Richard, that's probably the first time I've ever seen him win it. Let's find out. Yup. Okay, good for you, Miko. Oh yeah, there it is. Ryan Reeves with 156 penalty minutes. And then we've got Tanner Geno with 151. Foligno, Bertuzzi... Where's my other guys? Most fights goes to Tanner and then Revo. And then we got Flino at 16. And then it drops off pretty drastically. But we got Lucic up here as well. In the lofts. You see what I see had 16 wins, obviously, because that's how much it takes to win the Stanley Cup. A 919 save percentage. Mackenzie Blackwood had a 915. Pretty solid. McAvoy led defenseman in the playoffs. He had 19 points in 26 games. Taves had 15 in 20. And then Matheson at 14 and 20. What is up with that? Good for you, Michael. Not your Art Ross winner because did not win the Stanley Cup. That will go to Zach Hyman. Sorry, did I say Art Ross or did I say Con Smythe? Now I'm in my head. I have no idea. But what I meant to say was Con Smythe. There's a very real chance I did say Con Smythe and just trip myself up. But just in case, you know, I had to cover my bases because my brain was like, did I just say Art Ross? Yeah, I guess most likely it's going to go to Zach Hyman, which will also be a first. And it's time to find out. Awards. We know the team awards mostly, I believe. I don't know if I really knew this one. Well, yeah, I guess because you can see from the stats. Nate Mack with the Art Ross and the Hart. The Art-Hart combo always seem to go hand in hand. Dewey gets the Norris. We've got Barzell taking home the Lady Bing. Matthias. Gets the Calder again. He seems to be cleaning up that trophy in this game. Hyman with the Con Smite. There it is. Bobrovsky gets the Vesna and the Jennings. Okay, good for you, Bob. Egg scoops up the Masterton. Bartley takes home the Jack Adams. Barkov gets the Selkie. And then the Ted Lindsay goes to Nate Mack. The Rocket Richard goes to none other than Miko Rantanen. Ooh, well, there's your playoff tree. That was a tough draft, but you know what? It was a pretty good one. It was interesting to find out some of the players had played for four teams. And some players that I thought had played for more didn't. So, yeah, thanks for that suggestion. If you have other draft suggestions or video ideas, comment it down below. If you attempted this draft, let me know how yours went. And, yeah, if you could subscribe, like, that would be fire. I'll see you soon.